Guys, what's up, Golf News? We are back at my favorite Play It Again sports on Earth. On Earth. This is the Wesley Chapel location in the Tampa, Florida area. JD runs it. This place is amazing. He's got some amazing deals in there all the time. So let's go in there and see what we can find. Hey, guys. We haven't even made it inside the store yet. We've already found some golf here and Play It Again sports. So we've got some uh, stand bags. You know, in my video, I was talking about the uh, stand bag I have. These are the cart bags, so this is the difference. You'll notice there's no legs. Um, it just stands upright. And then because there's no legs, you got to lay it on the ground when you're not playing. But if you ride a cart all the time, you need to carry a lot of stuff. These things have a little more room than a stand bag off a lot of times. Let's go in and check out what they got. Wow. Uh, I've not seen this many golf clubs in one spot. Uh, gotta play it again, sports ever. Yeah. See, I mean, we got used fairway woods here, you know, five bucks and up. Some of these are, you know, pretty old, probably pretty hard to hit, not very forgiving. Um, but I mean, if you're on a really tight budget, this is the way to go. So here we got a Cobra Baffler Hybrid, seven hybrid. Seen better days, pretty banged up. Only twenty four ninety nine though. Good for a beginner, something to practice with, Just kind of build your swing. Mm -hmm. Sets too. Yeah, it's sure. We have sets. Oh, they do have some sets. Mm -hmm. Seven, eight, pitching wedge. Twenty nine ninety nine for this Wilson starter set. Now, granted, this is just the uh, higher lofted irons. This is seven through a gap wedge. Um, so it's just basically the short irons. You don't have any longer irons. But for twenty nine ninety nine and in graphite, it's a pretty good deal. The heads are in pretty good shape too. So here we got a got another three hybrid. Pretty banged up, but definitely still serviceable. Nineteen ninety nine for an Adams. Speed line, three hybrid. So, we got over here. Here's a Cobra SZ Hyper Steel, three wood, fourteen ninety nine. Stiff flex, a little banged up, very old club, but boy, these were rocket launchers back in the day when they came out. Okay, Callie, Big Bertha. Good, thanks. You got a Callie, Big Bertha? Oh, yeah. So this is an oldie, oldie but a goodie here, guys. Callaway Big Bertha. Um, Got one of these for my dad, and he absolutely loves it. It's a love, bit of a love-hate relationship for him, but when he hits it good, man, it's a rocket launcher. He cranks it. Back in the day, these were some of the most forgiving clubs on the market. Nowadays, there's a lot more forgiving stuff out there, but still, a goodie, a classic, and this is a seven wood, which is a nice club to have. Nine ninety nine. You can't beat that. All right, let's see what else they got. Yeah. So not a whole lot in fairway woods or drivers that I've seen. Everything here is kind of pretty old. Um, however, the iron set selection is incredible. Um, these are classic. This is a set of tailor-made burners. These are pretty solid clubs. These things are rocket launchers. Uh, these came out in about 2005, I want to say, give or take. Can't quite tell what shaft it is, uh, but it's five through pitching wedge, 189. You know, if you're just starting out, it's 
it'd be hard to, yeah that's definitely a regular flex it would be hard to uh hard to beat that deal on that like i said five through fishing wedge i mean good deal good way to build your bag get a whole iron set for under 200 dollars uh, set of pings pretty good oh look at these we got some classics right here guys if you are just starting out these ping i2 black dots are incredible black dot means it's a standard loft and lot and that's what you're looking for uh if you're a beginner because you don't have your swing all custom yet these are some of the easiest to hit most forgiving golf clubs on the planet these have been around for ages, but you could run over these things with a tank. These old Ping I2s will last forever. Uh, I play personally play the Ping I3s, which is the set that came out um, just a couple of years after these. And uh, let me tell you, if you're in the market for new irons, oh my God, and they're only $99. Oh my God, $99 for a set of Ping I2s, four through sand wedge. Oh my God, that's amazing. Then we got another set of pings here. These are the ping rafter, four through pitching wedge, two ninety nine. Two more sets of uh, ping. Now see the difference here. These are ping orange dot. Okay, guys, if you're just starting out and you're a beginner, you need to stick with the black dot unless you know your fitting specifics. The, the dot is a fitting chart at ping. You can look it up at ping's website and or on Google and figure out which which uh, loft and line angle is right for you. Or if you're a beginner and just starting out, black dot is usually the way to go. Black dot will fit the highest range of players. But here's a set of orange dots, 160. Um, here's a set of blue dots. I mean, these are some amazing prices. Set of men's Nike uh, VS irons, four through sand wedge. These are some good sticks right here. Nike doesn't make clubs anymore, so the prices on some of the Nike stuff is going through the roof. Wow, these are in really good shape, though. Uh, cavity back iron now guys this is what you're looking for when you're a beginner and you're new you want to see a hole in the back you want to see this little cavity if there's no cavity back here say see how this one has no hole there's no cavity these are blades these are a lot harder to hit especially if you're new to the game so you're typically going to be better off with a cavity back iron like this one some Nike Covert irons for 350, some old Cobra bio cells. Oh wow, here's an old set, set of Adams ideas for 129. This is a pretty good deal. Oh wow, most of these are in graphite. Um, so graphite is lighter and typically helps you get the ball in the air a little quicker. Um, graphite's not a terrible way to go for beginners, but most players in their irons especially prefer steel shaft. Um, so I recommend everybody kind of start out with steel. Um, unless you're older, maybe you have some injuries. If you're going to have a slower swing speed or the golf clubs feel too heavy, graphite's definitely the way to go. Uh, oh, a set of Mizunos here for $199, five through pitching wedge. Oh, these are absolute gold right here. Look at these. Not real familiar with Mizuno's lineup, but these look super forgiving. These have a very small cavity, but it's more of a hybrid design. So a club like this is going to be incredibly forgiving. And Mizuno is about as good as they come when you start talking golf club brands. Wow. Because what? Yeah. Golly, man, those are sweet. Oh. Putters are behind you. Oh, yeah. Let's see what they got in putters. This one. Yeah, boy, that's strange looking at it. <laughs> um, most of the putters here are pretty old, uh, not really super serviceable. Oh, here's a nice ping. This is pretty cool. This is the ping crazy. Uh, although I'm about to, I, you're going to like it or love it, but once you see it, you can't unsee it. Pretty smart looking mallet putter until you turn it over. Then it looks like a guy riding a motorcycle. <laughs> Do you see it? No, I don't see it. You don't see it? Uh, so here's his head, here's his arms, and here's the handlebars. He's riding a motorcycle. Ah, uh, I got it. See, can't unsee it now, can you? I've just ruined the ping crazy for everybody out there. <laughs> um, oh, that one. What's that? I don't know. I've never seen one of those before. Odyssey Rossi, this is the model of putter I play, but my I play the newer generation. 
This one's pretty banged up, so I'd probably pass on something like that. Um, oh, here's an Odyssey Works putter. Oh, well, this looks in good shape, too. Yeah, it is. This is in pristine condition. For some reason, like, you can buy used iron sets, you can buy used drivers, used fairway woods, and they, they do pretty well, you know? There's scratch, there's some dings, but most of it's just cosmetic. Putters, used putters in good condition are incredibly hard to find. They look like they've been thrown out of an airplane without a parachute, run over by a truck, or thrown off a cliff. This thing here is in pristine condition. Oh, wow, and they're only asking $89.99. That is a steal for this putter. These things, um, brand new, were running $200, $200 plus. So for one in this shape, $89.99 is, is a good deal. Um, Wow, look at this old Ping Classic Blade. Wow. $7.99. So if you're on a super tight budget, you can get you this, grab you this Ping Karsten. I'm, I'm not sure the name of the putter, but it's an old Ping putter. Oh, man, it feels really good. <laughs> this one might actually be coming home with me. You know, put a new grip on it, and this... This is pretty sweet. Wow, look at that. But if you're on a, an extremely tight budget, I mean, $7.99 for a putter. You can't beat that. Yeah, it looks like a little light on the putters. Oh, here's a bargain right here. $89.99 for this Ping, uh, what, yeah, Ping Sigma G. Wow, that's a good deal. Left-handed, though. Um, so obviously not for me mm. guys. That's another thing you got to be careful of when you're buying clubs Make sure you buy for the proper hand if you're looking for left-handed clubs You got to buy left-handed clubs if you're looking for right-handed clubs. You got to buy right-handed clubs There is a difference. They do make them for different handedness So make sure you keep that in mind when you're buying go golf clubs because if you're right-handed and you grab a set of left-handed irons You're gonna be in a world of hurt <laughs> Okay um God, hey, so much to go through. Oh, looky here. Now we have a lady set. This is pretty cool. I was saying in one of my earlier videos how hard it is to find ladies sets, uh, especially in the used market. And right here, we got a whole set of ladies ram. This is a full set. I wonder what this is going for. <laughs> I don't see a price. But I can't imagine it would be that expensive. This is an absolute steal of a find. And now they have two other lady sets here. Um, there's a sticker, but I don't see a price. So, But wow. So guys, if you live in a place where you have access to a Play It Again Sports, that is a very good place to go to build your bag if you're piecemealing it together or you're on a really tight budget. Um, Let's see, they got some junior sets for the kiddos, a whole bunch of used wedges. Most of these wedges have seen better days though. Oh, here's a tailor-made wedge. I, this feels like it still has some face on it. Oh yeah. Wow, this is in pretty good shape. What do they want for this? Ooh, 120 though for this one, so, you know. That's a really nice wedge, though, and this is in such good condition. I mean, one of these brand new is going to sell for uh, probably $169, 179 somewhere in that range. So get you a pretty good discount on a really good 54-degree wedge uh, from TaylorMade. <laughs> Speak of the devil, the Ping I-3s I play. This is the slightly newer version of the Ping I-3s I, I play. <laughs> we just talked about that a minute ago. All right, guys. Well, there's a good look around. Uh, too much in the store to go over every single item. But um, like I said, they have some really good deals here. And this is the place to come if you want to put together a set, you know, without spending a fortune. All right, guys. Well, till next time, golf noobs. Later.